Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I will show you how to create your first Minecraft plugin uh, using Java. Keep in mind that this um, course or this video will not show you the Java fundamentals uh, and it won't either um, get you going with installing Java and all of that so basically I'm just gonna tell you what to install and then you can figure it out from uh, tutorials um, and such and there are many re great resources on this so the first thing that you will need is an IDE of course and that may be IntelliJ if you're if you're coding Java but I personally I prefer VS Code uh, it's free it's easy to download can run anywhere um, so that's what I'm gonna do or what I'm gonna use in this tutorial Anyway, you will also then need, if you're using VS Code, uh, you're going to need a Maven installed. Um, you can check your inst installation if you have Maven if by typing weir mvn. So if you haven't got Maven and you're on Mac, you can do pre install Maven. Uh, but if you are on another platform, just follow their guides uh, and then make sure to add Maven to the path. Anyway, uh, you can also set an executable uh, inside VS Code by opening up the settings by hitting command and then comma or dot, that depends. And then you just search for Maven, uh, you'll get Maven executable path. But keep in mind that you will need uh, to have, I believe the extension is called Maven for Java. Yeah, exactly. You'll have to install that extension if you're using VS Code. This may differ depending on what IDE you're using. So anyway, let's jump straight into creating a new project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a command called Maven create project. This will be in VS Code. Um, you can create a Maven project in any other type of IDEs or editors. That's basically dependent on what you want. And then I'm going to do uh, hit more because I want to get a package called Minecraft. Um, let's see here. There we go. I believe it's this one. Yep, definitely this one. So we're going to hit enter. We're going to select the uh, version you just hit enter and then you're going to type in your group ID and this is basically a reverse domain so for example if my domain was olifunberg.com it would be uh, com.olifunberg uh, it's kind of weird but I'm just going to do com.olifunberg there we go and then I'm going to have the uh, the kind of name or the artifact ID of the project and, and since I will be creating a password login system and because I will be connecting this to uh, my website, uh, we're just going to call this um, login system or let's do a fancy name, hmm. uh, easy login, <laughs> easy login, yeah, let's do easy login and then we're going to select a folder where I'm going to create it. I'm going to create this in my projects folder. So I will just hit select destination folder and then it will create my um, my project. Um, and we're going to define a default value for version. I'll do, go with 1.0.0.1 or 0.0.1. Yeah, just press Y and then we should be good to go. So now we're going to open the folder, um, which is in my projects. There we go. And then mm, what do they call it? Easy login. There we go. So we're going to open that up in VS Code. So when you're opening up a Maven project, you will see uh, dependencies here, or you will see, I'm sorry, you will see a little Maven, um, Maven list thing. And then you can go to plugins, or actually you can go to lifecycle. And here you can run all the different Maven's command. Uh, so for example, it will be package when we're gonna build our, um, our plugin. So in our file explorer, we can go to main Java and then plugin.java. This will be the main, um, main clause uh, that the plugin is gonna run off. 
and it extends the Java plugin, uh, which is taken from the bucket bucket uh, package. So on enable, this will be a function that will run when the plugin is, you guessed it, enabled. And on disable will be run when the program or the plugin, I mean, is disabled. Uh, it's fairly easy. So if we're in, we just try to build it right now and we go to uh, package, there we go. Uh, it will download some uh, dependencies and we should find our easy login jar file inside target. Uh, and this is the actual find file that you will copy and paste onto your Minecraft server plugins folder. But yeah, and we also have a resource or a folder called resources where our plugin.yml will be, um, will have its location. And here we can define an API version of the, uh, of the spigot or the bucket API. And we can also define our main class. So this will be the reverse domain. So it will be ccom.olfumberg.easylogin dot plugin um, this is important to uh, to keep especially this main thing and the name we can also put a description here uh, which will say uh, login lo um, create a, create well create accounts from in game um commands there we go i hit save also i'm using github copilot for um, code examples which i will be using in this tutorial because it's awesome um, but anyway um if we try to actually we can try to um we can try to load a plugin and we can see if this easy login enabled thing will fire so our file was created in target so we're gonna right click the the jar file we're gonna open it in our file explorer it's finder because i'm on mac and then we're gonna go onto our server uh, wherever we have our server which i believe mine is in projects if i'm not mistaken and then it's hts earth uh, hts civilization it is there we go and then we're gonna go on to plugins and then we're gonna drop the easy login plugin inside this. And then we can actually reload our server. So if we're doing RL confirm, or if you want to start up your server, you'll have to do that. And we will see if we maybe can find um, our plugin. Seems like there is a problem. I cannot find a main class com.olfumberg.easylogin.plugin. This is probably because we have, for some reason, the folder wasn't created. So we're going to create a new folder called easylogin. And we're going to put plugin inside that. And now we hopefully have the correct path. Um, this is because the main is. Um, pointing towards com.olfumberg.easylogin.plugin and before plugin was in the parent directory for some reason it's it's very weird I'm, I don't know why so we're going to compile this again I'm just hitting the up button because it's uh, using this command and then we will have a new easylogin.jar uh, which we will drag in into our plugins we'll hit replace and then we will reload the plugin or the server server plugins and then we can see easy login enabled that's great so now you have the setup to the very very basic basic setup to um, code your own minecraft plugin um, this will be all for this tutorial in the next video we are going to see and uh, we're going to see how we can interact with player commands. So I'm looking forward to the next video and I'll see you.